people could ever possibly imagine. And I stand here today strong because of Jesus, because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I found God in jail, and a lot of people, they say, you know, uh, yeah, it's, it's just a thing because, you know, you were in jail. But I was in the worst possible time of my life, my third robbery conviction, facing another five years, and God pulled me out of the darkness. And I used to rob people. I used to do horrendous things to people. And uh, today, I, today, I just love people. You know, I just love every single one of you guys here today. You know, and uh, I'm, I'm just so happy. I used to be an angry person. My eyebrows were always face down. I was, I was always just angry. I hated the world. I hated everyone. You know, and uh, I used to blame God for all of the horrible things that happened in my life. And I've come to an understanding that God didn't do none of those things to me. God loved me. God had grace in my life not to strike me dead because I was a horrible person. You know, that's that's what grace is. You know, people get it all twisted and they think grace is, you know, justification of sin. That's a lie from the devil, right from the pit. Grace is, you know, grace is the ability to stand here today alive. That God doesn't kill you because you're a sinner. Look at the Old Testament. He struck down cities, killed whole cities with hellfire, you know. And, uh... I just love Jesus so much because of what he's done in my life. I just laid my whole entire life down to him. I have to give him my life. You know, he died on the cross for me. So today, I, I just want to carry my cross every single day now for him. I study my Bible. I don't need to worry about the, the world. I don't need to worry about the things in the, in the world, you know, all this knowledge that we think that we can get from man. My knowledge comes from God. You know, that's the only knowledge I need. I just want to know everything there is to know about God, but my brain is only three pounds. So there's no possible way that that's even that, that can even happen. So if we think that we know God with our three pound, pound brain, that's another lie from Satan. You know, so uh, that's a quick testimony, and I just want you guys all to know that uh, you know if I can do it, <laughs> you can all do it. You know, just seek Jesus, repent. That's the main thing. Repent. Yeah. 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 Jesus. Yesterday. Oh yeah, yesterday. So uh, I've been baptized three times now. The first time it was like I was eight years old, and I was in some kind of um, Bible program thing, uh, or sorry, uh, church thing that wasn't real, and uh, I was I was baptized again um, on the 11th of June. That wasn't real. I didn't know that I was supposed to repent for all the horrible things that I did. You know, yesterday I had a real baptism. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this wonderful man from God right here baptized me oh. and brought me through the real baptism. You know, I, I wrote down all the things that I had that I was holding on to, the unforgiveness in my life. The, uh, the hatred in my life, things that people might have hated me for. I wrote all of them down on a piece of paper, and I ripped it up, and I let it all go. Let, every, let, every, let all of it go. I repented from the things that I, that I know that I've done and the things that I don't know that I've done. You know, everything that maybe I forgot, God knows my heart. And I repented from those things. And then I was, I was put in the water, and I came up a new man. Today I stand holy in front of you, just as, just as Jesus says, you know, be holy as I am holy. How? So uh, if people tell you that you can't be perfect, you can't be holy, that's another lie from the pit. Repent, don't sin. How? Follow Jesus. Jesus is Lord. This is a miracle.